Good morning, learners! Welcome to Aral Tarlac Henyo here on RTV Tarlac Channel 26. Simulcast over DZPC Radio Pino Tarlac. Broadcasting live here at Mayan Talk Tarlac. This is Christian Joy D. Cruzado, your teacher broadcaster for science grade 4. I am grateful that despite the effects of this COVID-19 pandemic in our lives, you are still willing to learn new things. I would like to invite you to join me in a magical learning experience at home. At this point, I want you to prepare your modules in science, as well as your pen and notebook, so that you may take down some notes to remember as we go along with the lesson. Do you have it now? Great! Make it sure that you are in a comfortable place, far from noise so that you can hear me loud and clear while listening to this program. First, as have a review on our previous lesson. Do you still remember your topic last meeting? Excellent! Last time, you have a discussion with Sir Z about the properties and characteristics of sound. I'm pretty sure that all of you know the properties and characteristics of sound. Am I right? Okay. Let's add, let us recall. What are the properties and characteristics of sound again? Correct. The properties and characteristics. What is volume again, class? Yes, very good! Volume is the softness and loudness of sound. How about frequency? What is frequency, class? Correct! It is the pitch of the sound or the distance of each wave from one another. How about speed? Speed is also a property of sound and it depends on the medium by which sound is being transferred. Correct? And last is noise. What is noise? Noise is any undesirable sound which disturbs the activities of human or animal life. Perfect! You are now ready to learn with a new topic. Are you ready for our next lesson? Let's go! Kindly get your modules in science, quarter 4, module 1, and turn to page 3. Again, kindly get your modules in science, quarter 4, module 1, and turn to page 3. Please, as assistance from your parents. So class, I'll be flashing different pictures in the screen and kindly observe if these pictures are familiar to you. In the first two pictures, what do you think that the kids are doing? Great! They are playing! What makes them busy? Correct! They are busy playing with mud. You have a nice answer. How about the next two pictures? 
What do you think they are doing? Correct. They're busy with their garden. How about the last two pictures? What do you think does the kids are doing? Correct! They are also playing. So class, in the pictures being flashed in the screen, the kids are busy with... Correct! They are busy with soil. The pictures being presented in you are all about soil. Soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It covers most of the land part of the earth. Again, soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It covers most of the land part of the earth. You, plant, you find plants, animals, houses, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. There are three types of soil. These are clay, loam, and sand. First, clay. Clay or particles are packed together tightly. It is sticky when wet and has the finest texture. Clay is a type of soil which is heavy, high in nutrient, sticky to touch when wet, but smooth when dried. It has a very good water storage qualities and makes it hard for moisture and air to penetrate into it. Clay is the densest and heaviest type of soil which does not drain well or provide space for plant roots to flourish. Does any one of you have seen and touched a clay soil? Great! In Tagalog, it is called luwad. Moving on, the next type of soil is called loam. What is loam? Loam is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. This type of soil is considered for agriculture as they cultivated by farmers and can be highly productive for crop growth. It is commonly known as black soil and it is the best for any type of gardening. Does any one of you have seen and touched a loam soil? That is awesome! Kindly ask your mama, papa, or anyone at home if you have a stock of loam soil in the backyard. If there is, then perfect! After our lesson for today, try to observe the characteristics of the loam soil. And for the last type of soil, we have sand. Sand soil are often known as light soil due to their high proportion of sand and little clay. The particles are coarse and loose. Sand soil are light, warm, dry, and to be acidic and low in nutrients. Vegetable root crops who do not need much of water like carrots, potatoes, squash, 
and tomatoes are grown commercially in sandy soil. Does any one of you have seen and touched this type of soil? Great! In Ilocano, sand soil is called darat. In Tagalog, it is called bohangin. And in Kapangpangan, it is called balas. Okay, pupils! Now you know what is soil and the different types of soil. Let's have an activity. I prepared a simple activity for you to do. In this activity, you are instructed to identify what type of soil is being described. I will read the questions twice. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Number one, which soil type can become hard as a stone when dry? Again, which soil type can become hard as a stone when dry? Clay, loam, or sand? Number two, which soil type dries out quickly after rainfall? Which soil type dries out quickly after a rainfall? Clay, loam, or sand? Number three. Which soil type would be best for building a structure? Which soil type would be best for building a structure? Clay, loam, or sand? Number four, which soil type would a gardener need to break up every now and then to allow more drainage? Which soil type would a gardener need to break up every now and then to allow more drainage? Clay, loam, or sand? And for the last number, which soil type would a cactus do well in? Which soil type would a cactus do well in? Clay, loam, or sand? Okay, let's check your answers. Here are the correct answers. Number one. Which soil type can become hard as a stone when dry? The correct answer is... Clay. Correct! Number two. Which soil type dries out quickly after a rainfall? If your answer is sand, then you are right. Correct! Number three. Which soil type would be best for building structure? The correct answer is clay. Perfect! And for number four, which soil type would a gardener need to break up every now and then to allow more drainage? If your answer is loam, then you are correct! And for last number, number five, which soil type would a cactus do well in? The correct answer is sand. Bravo! Okay, who got a perfect score for this activity? Wow! Nice! How about the others? Job well done, pupils! You are all great! Now, my dear pupils, I would like you to get a sheet of paper and to measure the learnings on the topic being discussed, let's have a short quiz. This is the instruction. Write T if the statement is true and F if otherwise. 
I will read the statements twice. Number one. Clay is used to make bricks. Clay is used to make bricks. Write D if the statement is true and F if it's false. Number two. Loam soil is fertile. Loam soil is fertile. E or F. Number three. Clay has a very small particle. Clay has very small particles. E or F. Number four. Loam is a mixture of humus and different soil. Loam is a mixture of humus and different soil. T or F. And for number five, clay is the best soil for growing plants. Clay is the best soil for growing plants. T or F. Okay, I will count one to five for you to finish your assessment. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try to correct your answers. This is it. Are you ready to check your answers? Here are the correct answers. Number one. Clay is used to make bricks. The correct answer is T for true. Correct. Number two. Loam soil is fertile. The correct answer is T for true. Perfect. Number three. Clay has very small particles. Clay has very small particles. If your answer is F for false, then you are correct because sand has very small particles. Number four, loam is a mixture of humus and different soil. The correct answer is true, correct. Number five, clay is the best soil for growing plants. The correct answer is F for false because loam is the best soil for growing plants. Yes, this is it. Count the number of the correct items. For those who got a perfect score of 5, congratulations. And for those who got 4 to 3, job well done. And for those who got two and below, it's still okay for trying. Do not lose hope. Please get your module and review your answers. Now, for the meantime, let's have a wrap up. What is soil again? Soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It covers most of the land part of the earth. There are three types of soil, namely clay, loam, and sand. Clay, particles are packed together tightly. It is sticky when wet and has the finest texture. Clay is the densest and heaviest type of soil, which does not drain well or provide space for plant roots to flourish. In Tagalog, it is called luwad. Always remember, clay in Tagalog, it is called luwad. Next, loam. Loam is a mixture of sand and clay. Again, loam is a mixture of, la of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. 
This type of soil is considered for agriculture as they easily cultivated by farmers and can be highly productive for crop growth. It is commonly known as black soil and it is the best for any type of gardening. Next, we have sand. Sand soil are often known as light soils due to their high proportion of sand and little clay. The particles are coarse and loose. Sand soil are light, warm, dry, and to be acidic and low in nutrients. Vegetable root crops who do not need much of water like carrots, potatoes, squash, and tomatoes are grown commercially in sandy soil. In Ilocano, sand soil is called darat. In Tagalog, it is called buhangin. And in Kapampangan, it is called balas. Again, in Ilocano, it is called darat. In Tagalog, it is called buhangin. And in Kapampangan, it is called balas. Okay, class. Great for pupils. For your assignment. Kindly do an advanced reading regarding the layers of the soil and answer the following questions. How many layers does the soil have? Number two, what are the layers of the soil? Again, how many layers does the soil have? The second question is, what are the layers of the soil? We will discuss it further on Wednesday. Again, I hope you learned a lot today. If you have queries about our lesson for today, just text me at my number. My number is 0927-591-7815. Again, grade for pupils. If you have queries about our lesson for today, just text me at my number. My number is 0927 591 7815. This is Project Shine Aral Henyo, brought to you by the Department of Education, Division of Tarlac Province, in cooperation with DZTC 8 to 8 AM station and RTV Tarlac Channel 26. I would like to end up by saying the science of today is the technology of tomorrow. Thank you and God bless. This is your science anchor teacher, Sir Joy. See you on Wednesday.